All right, so I've run across just a slight problem with my new LEDs here. So you can see I've got almost 12 volts just on battery power. And I'll turn on the uh, four ways here. So they blink nice and normal. Now watch what happens when I start it up. Once it gets above 13 volts, I get a hyper flash. Once I turn it back down, or once I turn the bike off and the voltage goes back to 12, I get regular flash. All right, what the hell's going on? All right, so I've opened up the headlight here so we can get at the signal light. So this is, when you're sitting on the bike, this is your uh, left signal. Now it might be a little tough to see here. Let me see if I can get some light on that. So you've got a blue wire and a black wire. And basically what's going on here is the blue wire comes in on the one side and comes out on the same side. Same with this black wire here. Now for the right signal, this is gonna be really tough to see, but the right signal is wired reverse. The black wire comes in on that side and comes out on this side, and then vice versa for the blue-red wire. So when you're sitting on the bike of an 07 Vegas, it's the right front turn signal is reverse polarity. Heads up, do not wire it backwards. When I installed these, I wired it so-called correctly, burned out my ACM module. I think it cost me 500 bucks. So uh, don't do that. Okay, so I've taken apart the right front turn signal. Now after I blew up that module, I took it to the dealership where they fixed it all. Now you can see here, they've got the red and blue wire just hanging out in the screw. And I'm guessing that's ground. And then they only have the black wire running into this light. So I'm assuming, although I'm gonna have to put a lot of thought into this, that uh, the red blue is the ground in this case and the black is your live. This is giving me the willies. All right, so we're just looking over here at the left turn signal. And hopefully the lighting's good. You can see the blue wire probably runs in. The black wire, and get some light on it. The black wire goes into the screw. So on this side, it's normal. Black is ground, blue is power. On the right side, it's reverse. So, gotta be careful with this. Okay, so I had to modify my mounting brackets here a bit because the old ones were had a longer and skinnier thread on them. So what I did is I drilled it out and then I just used my belt sander and I just filed, basically sanded this part off flat and uh, that ought to give me what I need to mount my new brackets here, or mount my new lights. All right, so I've wired up this side now. This is the reverse polarity side. You'll see black wire coming from the bike is actually power going to the red wire on my light, colored wire from the bike, going to ground wire on the light. This is a 2007 Vegas. The right turn signal, right front turn signal, is reverse polarity. I don't know why. Thanks for that victory. It's not annoying at all. All right, let's turn this thing on. I'm uh, super paranoid here because I'm really worried that this is not gonna work. All right, power on. Well, I got a hyper flash, but that may not be the end of the world. And then this side, I've got no hyper flash. Now this is also incandescent. That side is both LEDs. This side is incandescent with an LED rear. 
Let's turn on the hazards. So I get a hyper flash on all four. Now I have a resistor on this side at the back. I might need a second one up front. The, uh, the incandescent light is probably acting like a resistor, which gives me no hyper flash at battery power, but hyper flash when the bike's running. All right, on a good note, so far, I did not burn out that stupid ACM module again. Still got to do this side. This side is normal polarity. I just got to make sure I keep that in mind. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, so I've got these two on here. So you'll notice I had to modify my brackets, which I mentioned before. Actually, I think it looks pretty good. Kind of feel good about being able to reuse those... Uh, those brackets because I like those they're aluminum so I was able to drill through it and sand that off without much issue all right let's tackle this other side and see if we can't screw that up Okay, so I've got the other side installed. Now, there's no resistor on this side at all. There is a resistor on this side at the back. Uh, I'll probably still get a hyper flash here, but let's pray to the motorcycle gods. Okay, well I got a hyper flash, but it's working. And I got a hyper flash, good stuff. Should still have a hyper flash on that side, I do. Hyper flash. So I got hyper flash all around, hazards, everything works. Just got to figure out how many resistors I need. On a good note, I didn't burn out that damn ACM module, so I'm in business. I just need to finish up and get the hyper flash removed. Okay, so I've wired up a resistor on the left side here. Let's just see if that does anything. Still getting a hyper flash. Still getting a hyper flash. Still getting a hyper flash. So that's a bit strange. I might need one at every light, maybe. Hmm. Okay, so I wired a second resistor on the left side. So now there's two resistors, sorry, on the right side. Two resistors on the right side and one on the left. Okay, so the right still hyper flashes. Look at that. No hyper flash on the, on the right, which means you need one resistor per LED light. The worst part about this is now I got to go dig around under the back fender and find all that wiring again. Oh well. At least I know what the problem is, so let's get another resistor at the back. Alright, so I put another wire, or another resistor on that side. Let's see if that fixes our problem. Okay, we got normal flash rate on the right side no we are at 12 volts we have bloody hell we still have hyper flash on the left how irritating that shouldn't be happening Ugh. all right so still getting the double flash after I thought I'd hook these up. So if we look in here, that one looks okay. Well, bloody hell, I got the wire on the outside. So this one isn't actually hooked up. So let's fix that. Because when I just sort of held another resistor on there, it fixed the problem. So 
Bad connection. Got to keep an eye on that. My problem. Nobody else's. All right, so after a colossal amount of effing around, I figured out what was going on. These stupid little clips don't always work. I know it's working up here because this resistor gets hot. I had two resistors connected to this side and I was still getting hyper flash. I stuck the wires of a resistor into these connectors and it started working properly. I removed the resistor from the back. As you can see, I just wired this guy directly in. All good, watch. No hyper flash with one resistor. Now I do have to start the bike to make sure that I don't get that other problem again because maybe I still need two, but bad connections, that was my problem. All right, let's see if we can fix this. All right, so after a complete dumpster fire of effery, here's the final conclusion. On the right turn signal, this is the reverse polarity one. I have a resistor here and one in the back. On the right side, I only have one in the front. Why? Because I believe the one in the back on the right side is not actually connected. Those stupid little connectors do not work. Do not use these things, they're crap. I ran a bunch of tests and basically came to the conclusion that I had two on this side and neither one was connecting properly. I now have one on this side, it is connected properly, all my lights work. I know these two front ones are connected because these resistors do get very hot. So you can see I've, I've got them in the light, I'm trying to keep them away from the wires as much as possible. This headlight also gets pretty hot. so. Now on a good note, you're not running your signals constantly. So, now, all I gotta do is put this thing back together, but I do believe I have finally, successfully, put LED lights on both front and back on my bike, and I hope to hell I can just ride the rest of the season. Boy, would that be great. All right, she's all back together. She's ready to ride. One thing I cannot stress enough is check your connections. That's what I've been messing around with for a while. Currently, I would say one of those 50 watt 6 ohm resistors per side. I don't think you need one per light. We're good to go. Here's to a good riding season. Yeehaw.